<laughs> She's going shopping. James is not in there. James is definitely over here hanging out with me while I work. And she's just bringing the bugaboo as a cart to put the groceries in because we don't have a cart yet. Good morning. I don't know if I'm going to keep the footage in that Peter just took of me <laughs> getting this stroller down the stairs of our apartment, but who knows? Um, I am off to go grocery shopping. I have Peter's Track Shack mask on. I left my mask in the car and that was my habit in Florida because anywhere we'd go, we'd go in the car. Um, so yeah, just learning, learning how to live life here. stroller with me today going to jewel but no baby because i am going grocery shopping but i'm walking there and i definitely don't want to carry the bags back i used to do that i do not have good memories of carrying groceries back in the day when peter used to be at work and at school and i did it on my own so now i have a stroller now get some shopping done he actually has a couple of meetings today so i gotta be fast this smell beckoned me. Jewel chicken? I don't know, I think it's better than Publix chicken. It's very good. Also, they have a huge, huge, huge um, salad bar, and I don't know if I saw it. Their chicken Caesar salad. I literally, like, just thinking about it, my mouth is watering. We definitely need some of this. We'll bring one over to Christina's tonight. So the stroller is pretty full, so I'm gonna head out. But I couldn't, I could not leave without some Green River. And look at, look at what I found. Hmm. I will not be missing cheer wine while living in the north. So this is so much better than when I used to grocery shop by myself when Peter was working overnight and going to school. I would just try to carry everything. I mean, I didn't try, I, I succeeded, but it wasn't pleasant. And so having this stroller, I should have gotten a cart back in, the, back in the day looking back, but I can vlog and bring my groceries home at the same time. I will need his help going up though. So hopefully he's not in a meeting. James has been sleeping and I managed to get him in his snowsuit and keep him asleep. I just love that he sleeps with his eyes open. I just love it. Now this is city living. <laughs> Sarah's got a bunch of bags. Yep. I got a baby wrapped up in a snowsuit. And we're gonna walk over to Christina and Grant's. Yeah. I'm gonna finish, it's only three o'clock. Um, I'm gonna finish the last of my little short work day there. And then we're gonna have dinner and hang out tonight. Yep, my mom is coming by. I think it's just a chill night. Yeah. I gotta go on a run later. Oh yeah. But it'll be and a we're chill run. <laughs> Get it because it's gonna be cold. Yeah. And burrito. Bowls. You have to talk about your challenge. I know. Did I? Did you keep it in the vlog yesterday? And I was like, I'm gonna talk about this. No. But I never did. Because you never did. Three different days. Two different days. I said I'm gonna talk about this cool running challenge I'm part of. And then I don't talk about it, so Sarah cuts that clip. Look how shiny, your head's merging with the sky. We also need to find our battery charger for our Canon because we've been vlogging on our phone these days. We'll find it. Oh, it's also Chicago's birthday. It is? Yeah. How old? I don't know, but let's see how many Chicago flags we can see on our walk. We're at their house. Milo's very concerned about James sleeping. But look at, I don't think Christina and Grant know that we got these. These are so good. They're like Sprite energy drinks. And I'm gonna surprise Christina with one. Worked out real well with Christina and Grant have an office because I ended up working later than I thought, but we're wrapping up now. And then we're just gonna hang out, have a good time. I'm hungry. Be careful. Be careful. 
<laughs> did you did did you burn yourself? yourself? Oh god. The juice. Oh gosh. We got some chicken going. We're making burrito bowls for dinner. Christina is secretly torturing us. <laughs> she's calling the Walt Disney World Resort about some specific questions. And she's on hold for their tickets, yeah. Tickets. And she's on hold. And the hold music just is mm. ripping at my heart. And I can feel Flower and Garden through the music. They changed the entry music to Epcot. Did you see? <laughs> it's still good. We're. So we are still trying to be mostly plant-based when we're home. So I'm making some potatoes for our like meat of our burrito bowls. And there's gonna be refried beans, black beans, and fajita peppers, and all kinds of sweet stuff. So check it out. Alrighty, so I mashed up some avocado, a little bit of onion, salt, pepper, <laughs> garlic, and lime juice, and a little bit of lemon juice, because the lime was creepy. And then in the air fryer, we're gonna have potatoes and onions, salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, and nutritional yeast, some olive oil. I'm also gonna add green chilies to it after it cooks. Boy, it feels good to be cooking with actual fire again and not an electric stove. Makes such a big difference. I'm heating up some olive oil for my beans. I'll link the recipe below. Look at this fancy YouTube video Violet's watching with us. This one guy's got the major hiccups. But he loves looking out these big windows. He's a very nosy kid. So I got our beans a boiling. There's cilantro, red pepper, onion. What else in there? Black beans, water. I'll, I'll, I'll link that recipe below because I've never done it before. And then we have our dupe chipotle fajita pepper concoction. It's really just the peppers, onions, lemon juice, oregano, salt, and pepper. And here are the refried beans. I did add a little bit of garlic and pepper along with sour cream and cheese. The actual refried beans themselves were spicy chipotle, so hopefully they're delicious. Luca's like been my best friend lately. Y'all stop the taters. <laughs> Mm -hmm. can eat that the world, I, Thank I you, though. The secret to family dinners is you go last once everybody's made theirs, and then you make a monster of a bowl. And there's no guilt on taking everything else. Look at the, the Weasley askness of this amazing walk up that Christina and Grant have. I'm going downstairs to grab Sue's car because she parked on the street and she's heading down. So cute, I love it. This is reading story time for Violet. The flash is on. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't think I realized how much anxiety I had bringing Eve's on walk in Orlando with all the critters and creepy things, but sure is nice just letting her like freely run into all the yards and streets and areas where she's allowed and not have to worry about like call for a frog that she's gonna eat or a snake coming out or so many things. I think she likes it too. Eve just laid across James's feet. <laughs> this, he does like that spot. I don't think she realizes that's James in that <laughs> snowsuit. <laughs> Is she biting her paws? Yeah, she's biting her paws. Oh gosh, she's doing her little nighttime bath routine. Yeah. This is making me so happy. In this oh gosh. Side. And the moment is over. <laughs> See? It was fleeting. Goodbye. She's having a hard time bouncing off uh, things like our beds and the couch. She doesn't realize there's no carpet on the ground. Well, home. Why did I just quote? It was all about the the inflection. It's focus, all focus. About that base, about that base, about that base. No trouble. Tell Peter that we have to do something productive. Mm. Uh oh.
What do you got, Evie? <laughs> do you want to play? This is your friendly neighborhood reminder that it is never, never too late to drink a fresh cup of Green River, the Chicago classic. Today is March 4th. Today is March 4th. Ooh, a little longer one, Rick Hansen. Who is the one person in the world you have the greatest power over? It's your future self. You hold that life in your hands, and what it will be depends on how you care for it. Well, Sarah and James fell asleep on the couch a while ago. We decided it was going to be an early night, and it's 11.30. They've been asleep since, like, 10.30. So I'm going to get um, James's pajamas and outlet and everything ready. I'm going to call it a night. It's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.